There was a time when a bicycle only came in one speed, brakes operated by foot. Each hand belt had a different ring to it. <laughs> Bill Fiesel wants to remember those times. Oh, I think as we all grow a little older, we, we want to keep that bit of a child in us and somehow keep that alive, and this is my way of keeping it alive. Bill collects and rebuilds classic bicycles. 500 bikes are stored in a warehouse. Spare parts for them are scattered about and inventoried. Unlike baseball cards, stamps, and coins, this is a relatively new hobby for collectors. There are really no books written, so we're just, it's all new, and we're just trying to figure a way to establish prices on them. We're, we just have to rely on the scarcity of the bike right for the moment. Talk about rare. Well, this is a rare bike, a 1937 Shelby Airflow. Bill says it's only one of nine or ten left in the world. He hopes to sell it for $10,000. Bill discovers the bikes in garages, sheds, barns, and bike shops. He says most buyers are antique car buffs. They restore them. A lot of times they'll ride them. A lot of times they'll just set them by their antique car or in a den. Be surprised how many of these end up on a wall even. Like the saying goes, one man's junk is another man's fortune. Bill Fiesel hopes to pedal his bikes to the highest bidder. Dick Berry, Toledo 11 News, Fremont.